Aloha mai kaua, o DJ Mermaid Keia, a i i ke oe, ua kako ia kahiki ke hoolele ia keia pukana makapuna i vele, e nga hoa me nga la la o keia kahua lekio i lulu kala maieia mako. No leila, he leo mahalo keia ia oko e nga la la, a i nga a ole oe he la la, mai kali a pauna niho, a e hui no me kako, e nga nga paha oko mahava i publicradio.org a mahalo nui. Aloha ahi ahi kako. I'm DJ Mermaid Pedro Kamora, and you are listening to Hawaii Kulaivi here on member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. On tonight's episode, we are going to go with the flow. We're going to start at one end of the spectrum of Hawaiian music, and we'll see how far we get by the end of the show. You can find a full set list online at our website at hawaiipublicradio.org. You can also find a donate button and support the programming that you're listening to today. Aloha mai kako, I'm DJ Mermaid Pedro Kamora, and you are listening to member-supported Hawaii Public Radio 1's Hawaii Kulaibi. We open up tonight's show with Jack DeMello and Valley of the Orchids off of the album Music of Hawaii. 
Tonight's episode is going to go with the flow. We're going to start at one end and see where we end up at 7 o'clock when I hand you over to Sandy Tsukiyama for Brazilian experience. Starting with Jack DeMello's orchestra, moving into Auntie Emma Viri, who, in case you didn't know, and even for me, I didn't know until relatively recently, um, but Auntie Emma has had a storied, very wonderful career as I as I know it and I feel like somebody should probably do a documentary on Auntie Emma's life but she um, was a child prodigy singing in church before she was old enough to go to school and at 10 years old she was profiled in the Honolulu Advertiser which resulted in a music scholarship to Punahou School or at Punahou School because her parents couldn't afford, didn't have the financial means to provide her with musical training. And then during World War II, she performed with the USO while she was still enrolled at Kamehameha. It was still a school for girls at that time. And she performed with John Kamealoha Almeida and so many other musicians. And then as a teenager, she was sent to New York City to train at Carnegie Hall. And she was exposed to Broadway theater productions of that era and all of these different influences that would help her expand her repertoire. She even appeared on Andy Cummings' show on KGMB. And so Auntie Emma, during the pandemic, was actually singing with her daughter and she would live stream Uh, their sessions where they would just sit in their house and sing for everyone. So this is Auntie Emma Viri with Mala Na'i Anukamakani off of her best of album into the Kalima Brothers and Gone with the Wind here on Hawaii Kulaivi on member supported HPR1. You can find a full set list online at our website. You can find more information about the show at hawaiipublicradio.org slash Hawaii Kulaivi. Oh 
you're listening to Hawaii Kulaivi here on member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. I'm DJ Mermaid Paige Okamura. You just heard Jesse Kalima, well, the Kalima brothers and the Richard Kohi Quartet with Gone with the Wind. Before that was a man named Tandy McKenzie. And Tandy McKenzie sang Mai Poi no Oi Ya'u. But if you don't know about Tandy McKenzie, he was born in Hana, Maui. Back in 1892, he first learned to read music at Kamehameha School and he studied voice in New York, Paris, and Milan. He is, uh, as some refer to him, one of the first, you know, worldwide operatic singers to come from Hawaii. There's actually a paper written on Tandy McKenzie and Ululani McQuaid Robertson. And their two careers written by Dale Hall in the Hawaii Journal of History. But Tandy McKenzie's first professional appearance on stage was as a member of the quartet in Bird of Paradise in 1915. And then his operatic debut was as Rodolfo in La Boheme in Cannes in 1929. So Tandy McKenzie makes it from Hana Maui. He moves to Honolulu after... I believe his father passes away and his mother gets remarried. They move to Honolulu and he goes to Kamehameha Schools, then Kamehameha School for Boys. And then he would have this wonderful operatic career. I think he even appeared in a movie at some point and he passed away in 1963. Here on Hawaii Kulevi, I want to always make sure that we take a deeper dive than we normally do into the mo'olelo of the songs and the artists and the composers of our Hawaiian music so that we can all be aware of the and learn something new and you know really understand the broad depth of the history of Hawaiian music so coming up next is a song called Pua Okahei by Keauho off of their album Ike Ko A Keau into Auntie Nina Kiliiva Hamana and Uncle Bill Kaiva with Silhouette Hula here on Member Supported HPR1. You can find a full set list online at thepublicradio.org.
just like a dog It's a feeling heavenly I see memories out of the past Memories that always will last All that place across the sea Waikiki At night when the shadows are falling I hear your rolling surf calling Calling and calling to me Waikiki Tis for you that my heart is yearning My thoughts are always returning Out there to you Across the sea Your tropic nights And your wonderful charms Are ever in my memory And I recall when I held in my arms An angel sweet and heavenly one Kiki My whole life is empty without you I miss that magic about you Magic beside the sea. Andy Cummings singing his own very famous composition of Waikiki, which he wrote when he was on tour to Toronto and on to Kalamazoo. And then when he ends up in Michigan, he was homesick and he wrote that song about Waikiki while he was longing for home. Andy Cummings was born Andrew Keloha Cummings, born in Honolulu, uh, went to school on both Maui and Kauai. He also, he learned the ukulele really early, but also played the violin and the trumpet in high school. And he, his professional music career began when his ohana moved to Hilo and he joined the Huapala troupe in 1933. And a few years later, he would also end up with that radio show I mentioned earlier when we talked about Auntie Emma Viri called The Wandering Troubadour. It was on Sundays on KGMB. And he would join the Hilo Police Department where he sang in the Glee Club. And so all of this uh, catches the eye of E.K. Fernandez who sees a group of police officers dancing and playing Hawaiian music, and he booked Andy Cummings and the Huapala Troupe on that nine-month North American tour where he would end up writing Waikiki. You're tuned in to Hawaii Kulaivi here on member-supported HPR1. I'm Pedro Kumora, DJ Mermaid, your host every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. Before Waikiki, we also heard... Silhouette Hula, Auntie Nina Kele Iva Hamana, and Bilka Iva on their duet album called Hula Hula Luau Style. Coming up next, Kainani Kaunaele with a melody titled Na Uoi, into some Johnny Almeida with Gorgeous Hula here on Member Supported HPR1. You can find a full set list and more information online at our website at hawaiipublicradio.org. Na
than me a cool beauty, my beloved one. Oh, 
Marlene Sai with Paul Mark and his orchestra with Kaulana Ohilo Hanakahi before that gorgeous hula composed and performed by Uncle Johnny Kamaloha Almeida dedicated to his granddaughter. I'm DJ Marmay Pedro Kamara. We have about 10 minutes left in tonight's episode of Hawaii Kulaivi. Coming up next, we're going to Kipakuya Ka'u on this, just gonna leave Hilo and drive south a little bit. To Ka'u with Ka'u Nui, written by Mary Kavena Pukui for her Aina Hanau. We're going to go see the beauty of Kilauea and so many other things about Ka'u. Also, Ka'u coffee is actually my favorite coffee, even more than Kona coffee. Oh, but don't hate me, people of Kona. In this case, when it comes to the coffee, I'm going to go with... Uh, Mary Kavana Pukui and Aohia Umakimaki Yakona O Ka'u Ka'u. This is the Kahawanu Lake Trio with Ka'u Nui at the Halekulani Hotel here on member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. Oh, 
You're tuned into KHPR Honolulu, KKUA Wailuku, KAN Ohilo, KHPH Kailua Kona, KIPL Lihue, and KJHF Kuala Pu'u. <laughs> You're listening to Kawa Hi'iaka by the Brothers Casimero, which is a Hi'iaka mele in which she tells Pele when she knows that Pele is upset for taking so long. He he manoka ihona. There's so many hills and valleys in Hilo, and I must traverse all of them, which might be a nice life lesson, reminding us of Pele's ever-present you know, present here. Kamea <laughs> 
You're listening to Napala Palai with Ayala Opele closing us out on this episode of Hawaii Kulaibi. Mahalo nui for joining me this Sunday, and I will see you folks again next week, Sunday, same time, same place, 6 to 7, on member supported Hawaii Public Radio 1. Now I'll leave you to Sandy Tsukiyama and Brazilian Experience.